All right. Hello, everyone. Or should I say, good morning, because it is 20 to 8 in the morning at the moment. And I am on my way to the university. And this is that video I was telling you about in my first Swift HD vlog, if you were watching that. The whole idea of this video is I'm going to show you my trip to uni. Because in the morning there is lots of traffic, lots of lane filtering, lane splitting. It's a pretty good ride, pretty fun. And today I've got two cameras, just to make it that little bit more interesting. Oh, somebody broke down. So, what you'll notice is that the main screen will be my new Drift HD Ghost. So that's going to be the head perspective of this video. So every time I move my head, that's the Drift camera. And you'll probably notice that on my chest is my friend's borrowed GoPro Hero 3. And that's on the chest mount. So I thought it'd be cool just to have a second element to the video by having two cameras you know just make it a little bit more interesting pick up some other things with the camera because with the chest mount what you what you'll notice is that you'll get to see more well I'm hoping if this works properly you'll get to see a lot more of the controls and the dash and then with the helmet cam you'll see the dash but also more of the road the cars I'm surrounded by and where I'll be going I don't know if I'll talk much throughout this vlog, mainly because I'll probably be concentrating. But, you know, it's just a good ride. It might be a bit of a long video, but, you know, you don't have to watch the whole thing. I might edit it, I'm not sure. I love seeing all the people look at me. I'm a bit of a bastard, aren't I? <laughs> well, I really hope this chest mount comes out good. So what you'll probably notice, what I just did there, I'm not revving it because I'm angry at anyone. The purpose of that was to let people know I'm coming in case, you know, because you always get those erratic lane changes. Just like that. Oh, come on, make the light. Yeah. Last night there were lots of storm clouds gathered around the area and I thought it was going to definitely rain this morning. But luckily they just moved past and you get these nice blue skies. It's a few clouds but nothing bad, nothing serious. It's a, it's a bit chilly this morning too. It's very crisp, very fresh. It'll get hotter in the day, it'll be fine. Look at this, nice spot for me. And go all the way to the front, I'll take it from you. Alright. Let's go, let's do this. If there was 
was no traffic at all, it'd probably take me about 25-30 minutes with lanes, well maybe 20 to 25 minutes. With lane splitting it takes about 30 minutes. If I was in a car and I was sitting in traffic, it'd probably take 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm saving myself a heap load of time. Plus I'm guaranteed parking once I get to uni because it's a really busy place. stuff going on this morning. Yeah. Ooh, it really is chilly. Uh, it's always like that in the morning there. Sorry if I'm moving around this chest mount camera. I just don't know if it's getting a lot or if all you're seeing is fuel tank. Because it is, that is the case, this video is ruined. be a real pain in the ass. Oh man, I'm really worried about this chest mount. I don't think it's on properly. Well, I mean, I don't think I've positioned it properly. That's what you gotta look out for. You always gotta be watching like four or five cars ahead, and, and including the ones that are right in front of you. Watching those brake lights, indicator lights, but more importantly, the front wheels. So yeah, like I said, I'm not getting angry at anyone, I'm just letting them know I'm coming. If I was actually getting angry at someone, I would rev limit the bike. Is this guy gonna try blocking me? Do what you will, man. You will fail. So sorry. <laughs> if that looked close on camera, it really wasn't that close. So don't get worried. It's just the nature of lane filtering. It's also a good idea to cover your brakes. And when you get an opportunity just to move into another lane, do it. Probably like a quarter of the way there. This is apparently still recording. How well it's recording or what it's recording, that I do not know. This guy looks like he wants to try to get in front of me. <laughs> Usually there's other motorcyclists around this time. Oh, there's one down there. But yeah, it's a nice ride, but a good day today. It's gonna be fun. Usually people go through red lights.
this road, this part of the road is so dodgy. They like lifted up the top surface because they were going to resurface it or something, and they just haven't done anything about it yet. So now all you've got left is dodgy under part of the road. It's so bumpy and shit. Can't wait to get past it. to think of it, I've actually clipped a few mirrors before. People try to get in your way and you just push through, get, and then they get their mirror clipped. It's like, oh well. What really helps with this lane filtering, lane splitting, is that when you've got a loud bike, people do hear you coming. And that's good because it makes it a little bit more safer, I guess. But um, people are more aware of you. That's why I rev it, and that's why I try to keep it in a low gear, because I want people to know I'm coming. This makes things a little bit better. As a matter of fact, I've gone through traffic pretty quickly this morning. It's been good. There'll still be a few more choke points. Like, a bit more parts where it's just complete heavy traffic. There should be one of those coming up soon. Like, all on this road, it's usually pretty bad and a little bit past it. And then on the way home, it's the same problem. So this is where all the clouds went, hey? It's talking about clear skies over there to the right. But look in front of us. It's not looking too good, eh? So yeah, always be checking your mirrors. Observing what's around you. one, wave two, get ready. Hello fellow motorcyclist on a Ducati monster who is now following me. Much slower there. started smoking his tires. Cold tires plus heavy braking equals disaster. This is why I saw the lane split because when trucks like that have a hard time stopping, you don't really want to be the thing in front of them that they're trying to prevent hitting. I'm pretty sure uh, there is a statistic which says that many motorcyclists actually die in accidents 
due to them being rear-ended. And there's not much you can do about that as a motorcyclist because you can't see them coming and you don't really have any time to go anywhere or to react. So what do you do? Nothing. Well, you take the situation into your own control and into your own hands and you lane filter. It has dangers in itself, yes. But as you saw that truck just there, if what I'm doing is protecting myself from things like that, why wouldn't I do it? I mean, obviously there's the benefits of saving time, but that's sort of one of the main reasons I do it. Taking my safety into my own hands, into my own control. This guy isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And if anyone think, is watching this and thinking I'm being a bit radical with how I do it, Believe me, I see people do it much faster in much tighter spots in much more dangerous situations. I'm not trying to defend myself, but I'm just saying, there's a lot worse out there. I think. From here on, it's still pretty bad, but speed picks up. Now, if I was in a car, I'd probably be, if I was in a car, I'd probably be back where that truck was that broke really hard. to god this GoPro chest mount's working otherwise what a waste of time eh I'll have to do it all over again and say stuff all over again mm -hmm. <sighs> alrighty Any second now. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that I'll do with the GoPro and the drift combined, provided this works, 
is the return trip, coming home. Come on, man, go. Because the home trip is pretty gnarly, too. Oh, God, listen to me. Pretty gnarly. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know. But we're pretty much here now. Just up the road. I have to admit, the traffic didn't seem too bad this morning. I, I've experienced worse. Hey, look at this lane. See this lane I just merged into? Well, from behind me, cars only merge out of this lane. So this lane I'm just in right now, cars merge into it and out of it at the same time. To me, that's just a recipe for disaster. Like, I don't know how Sydney drivers are capable of that, considering how shit they can be with some things I see them do. Let's drop it down in here. Oh, oh. 